gone, but Battle Cry songs of American heroes, America's heroes that you uh, help produce. Uh, it's that album will stand the test of time. It's it's got a lot of great music on it. And uh, folks, let let's not waste any more time. Here is before I'm gone. I almost broke up saying it, but here it is.
listen, we, that was a great song uh, by John Preston. Before I'm gone, uh, check it out on you know the hopefully on a radio station near you. If you go to Macy's, go listen to it there. Um, the only thing I got to disagree with John on about Russ is Patriots, really. What? I'm with him 100%. I'm, listen, I'm not a Patriot fan. I'm a Tom Brady fan. So tell me why, Gene. Why? Uh, well, actually, I have no dog in this fight. I'm one of the people in the 48 states that is wishing for death's sweet release during the Super Bowl. <laughs> I am not an Eagle. I can't stand the Eagles. Uh, the Patriots, I have a tremendous amount of respect for uh, Tom Brady and what he's accomplished. He is the greatest of all time. But it's uh, rooting for the Patriots to me is like rooting for the IRS. It's like rooting for U.S. Ah! Steel. You know, it's like, you know, that you won. We got it. Okay, enough. Listen, I am convinced, Gene, that Tom Brady is the only man, the only man that can save the NFL. He got me watching last week with with, with the playoffs, and uh, he's the only man that could save it. And it's a real shame, Gene, because the NFL, honestly, it, it was so perfect the way it used to be when it, all it was was about football and competition. I mean, you have blacks and whites on the same team, and they're knocking the crap out of each other on different teams. Uh, it, it was America. You know what I mean? Like, I loved it. And then they started kneeling during the national anthem, and I don't know what happened. The only man that could save it, Tom Brady. Go Pats. Uh, let's do this. I disagree with you on this point. Tom Brady is not the only man that can save the NFL, or football, I should say. There is another man who can save football, and his name is Vince McMahon, and he's starting up the XFL again in 2020, and that's when I'll come back to football. Because he already said, no kneeling allowed in my league. So, you know what? That's what I'm talking about. That's uh, absolutely, you gotta check out, check out the uh, information about the XFL. Uh, Vince McMahon relaunching it. Uh, hopefully Didn't President whole... Trump have a little arena football thing going on himself at one point in his career? I, you know, he might have. I don't remember if he did the arena football thing. But uh, listen, Tom Brady, he's probably going to win. But like I said, rooting for the Patriots is like rooting for the IRS to get more money. It's like rooting for Microsoft to get more market share. It's rooting for the next Apple iPhone to come out. Sorry, I'm I'm just not there yet. All right, Gene, I, before I we jump there. off of this real quick, though, who, I mean, who's going to win? Oh, I think the Patriots going to win. All right, so that's it. Enough said. Thank you. (laughs) The IRS always wins, too, I guess. And there you go. And that'll about do it for this week's show. I want to thank John Preston for coming on. Check out his latest single, Before I Am Gone. Powerful, powerful stuff, folks. Final thought time. You know, we don't really have time for final thoughts because Russ took up all the time talking about the Patriots. But whatever. Listen, State of the Union this week, obviously we didn't have time to talk about it because we're recording this before it. But listen, the sour pusses that you'll see on on screen every time President Trump touts an accomplishment will make it all worthwhile for you. We're going to break it all down next week, including, presumably, whatever that memo says as well. But until then, it's time to shut this sucker down. Gina Russ, behind enemy lines, we are out of here. Good night, folks. Our position has been compromised. It's time to roll out. Report for debriefing at www.behindenemylinesradio.us and look for regular communications via Facebook and Twitter at BEL underscore radio. You are the resistance. Behind Enemy Lines. A Rock Radio Production. Back in seven days. Out.